Welcome back to Gentry's Garage. Today I'm working on a 1965 Mustang. It's a real GT. It's a standard. I'm not doing the whole build on this one. I'm just going to be doing the front clip on it. Brand new front clip, cross member, changes it over to a Mustang 2 with a rack. Gets rid of all the towers. Somebody had put a 351 in this and there wasn't any room. And he decided just to go ahead and upgrade it. Pretty clean little car. It's gonna hit right there a little bit. But it'll leave me and go straight to the body shop. And then he'll put it back together. There's the cross member. Front frame set up. It's got a chassis works front end kit. We got the uh, upper and lower A arms powder coated already. And I'm going to put this in. Once I get it all in, I'm going to sandblast the whole front engine bay and paint it for him so it's ready to to start going back together so i'm going to start with pulling the whole front suspension off and then i'll clean up all the areas i've got to cut and get her started Okay, so I got the whole front end off, steering gear boxes off, all the you know, roll bar, everything's out. Uh, this is going to get cut right at the top of the frame rail. 
The bottom of the shock tower will come out along with the support all the way down the top edge of that frame rail. And then it'll cut right down the back, both sides. It's gonna have two tabs on each side that will use the front bumper bolts and they'll weld in up here to locate the frame for the initial locate. So I'm gonna clean all this area up. This one I'm not gonna take out. I'm just gonna put the plate in here so I know where to weld. And this one I'll bolt in. Same over here. So I'm gonna get all those cleaned up. Tack those tag tabs in place, the locating tabs. And then I'll come back and mark back here. It's 15 inches back from the control arm on the frame, 15 inches back to cut it out. And then once I get the frame and everything put in place, then I'll come back and remove the shock towers. That way the shock towers keep a little rigidity in the front frame. And then I'll put the covers for the shock towers in. All right, the old frame is out. Go around here. The new frame is in. It's not all welded in yet. It's just tacked in place. I'm gonna do some plug welds in the back. And I've got some lower pieces to put in that goes back under the front of the car. That bar right back there, that'll come out once it's all welded in. It really nice. It's going to strengthen the car up really well. I'll start plug welding, loading everything up. Got all the frame rail welded in the back. I've got some little pieces. This will all come out here. And there's some little um, almost angle pieces that go in all up through here, both sides. But now I'm going to take out all the shock towers and put in the filler. And then the bottom pieces will go in down here on, all this, on each side. And then I've got some outriggers. My bad. We got some outriggers that go here. And then there's um, some gussets 
they go in there too. Fit really nice. The floor fans have been replaced in this and they didn't weld them in very good. So I'll go inside and drill and spot weld the floor pans into the new frame rail section. And this piece here that goes back on both sides. And that'll tie everything back in together back there. It came with a trans ton or a uh, cross member, transmission cross member. Um, but without the engine and trans being in the car, I'm not going to put it in. So I'll leave the stock one in its location for now. And when he gets ready to put the engine and trans in, if he wants me to, I will put that cross member in. He's coming along nicely. Got the passenger side shock tower done. All the bracing in to the bottom. So much more room in there. Turned out really nice. Everything fit really well. I'm going to clean up the other side. Pull the steering column out. Put that one in. And then once I get that put in, I'll cut this bar out. Um, turning out really nice. Yeah, she's all welded up. My son came over and he's gonna blast it for me. And then I'll put it in primer and paint it. It's all taped up. So we're gonna do a little time lapse of me bla uh, my son blasting it. And uh
Okay, got her all blasted. There's some cancer here. Let's show the customer. I don't know if he wants me to fix it, but it's fixing to go to the body shop. But I am going to go ahead and put it in primer. And I'm going to put seam seal in all the seams again. Looks pretty good. After I do the first primer coat, I'm going to peel all the tape back. And then I'll stay in the edges and retape it all. And then I'll shoot it again, probably. Most likely. Looks good. Seam sealer's on. First layer of plaque is on. I have, a, I have to do another coat of black, but it's looking pretty good. And then the battery tray and the gas pedal. So I'm going to let her dry, tack up a little bit, and then I'm going to do another, another coat. And then I'll let her dry and then back her in the shop and Put the front end on or the front suspension that is i'm not putting all the fenders on and i did talk to him about this back here i'm gonna let he's go, or he's gonna let the uh paint and body guy do it he took pictures sending it to his paint guy so got the front engine bay all painted I'm going to start assembling the front A-arms, got the spindles painted, do the lowers first, and then I'll come back and do the uppers. I got the passenger side. A arms and coil over and spindle on. I'm going to start on the driver's side now. And I'm going to do a time lapse so you all can see me do it. One of the important things I really got to say is everything has to be tapped. And anti-seized. Otherwise you'll gall up a bolt. Even the inside of the The A arms. I'm going to tap it and put anti seize on it. So I'll get your time lapse started and get her together. All right, got the driver's side all together. I did go ahead and put the rack on and the anti roll bar. Well, they're really nice pieces for the rack and pinion setup. This whole kit's really nice. I won't be able to put the uh, brake calipers on because they won't fit inside the wheels. He doesn't have, there's the brake calipers. I'm gonna put them back in the box for him. So I'm just gonna put the rotors on they will fit inside, barely inside the 14 inch wheels, but we don't have any other rollers for it. So I'm just going to pack the bearings and put the rotor together, which is a really nice one piece hub rotor. Um, can go on either side. So I'll screw in the studs, pack the bearings, and get those on. I'll set up a little time lapse, even though y'all have seen it before.
Well, she's done. As much as I'm gonna do it anyway. Really nice front end. The car's gonna drive fantastic when it's all back together. It sits really nice. Really appreciate y'all watching. Got more cool builds coming up. If you would, please like and subscribe. It really does help out. Till next time.